All right, guys, it is time for the Stanley Cup Finals. I believe we've been here once before. I think we have. I can't say for sure, but I sort of remember being here. I know we've definitely been to a conference finals, or maybe two, but uh, I'm not fully sure if we've ever made it to the Stanley Cup Finals. Part of me wants to say that we have, but there's also a part of me thinking that we haven't made it this far before. But anyway, we are actually playing for the Cup this time. The Leafs finish their season 7-1-2, and, and we finished 4-6-0, and but we have 51 wins on the year. They had 44, and let's have a look at, um, first of all, our lines, and then we can jump over to the Toronto Maple Leafs lines. So, edit lines, see what we find here. Uh, yeah, we got Lysel, Barzell, and Raymond on the first line. Okay, they are plus two. Boss, Newhook, and Zadina, plus one. Uh, Moore, McLeod, Olafson, Vrana, Lundestrom, and Kapari. On defense, we've got Miro and Bouchard, and then, yeah, it's just, it's good. We just have good defense. Enough said. In net. Deal. Oh, the man, they met the legend, okay? His name is Teal. Um, Esteban Teal. But we got Blomqvist here as well. 80 overall. He hasn't played a single game yet. Teal has been stealing the show. And yeah, I think that's it. So, this is, uh, this is your team that is competing for the Stanley Cup right now. Let's have a look at... The Toronto Maple Leafs here and see what they're throwing our way. And Toronto. So they've got Marner, Matthews, Nylander. Yeah, that's uh, not a bad first line, you know? Pretty good, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's that's stupid. 95, 90, and 90. Um, but okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's only their first line. Their second line, they've got uh, Brandon Conan. Uh, they got Drake... Kajula, I think it's something like that. Anyway, and uh, Pajo. So second line's decent. Their third line's pretty good with uh, Boakvist, Appleton, and Kasha. Then they got Vitrano. Okay, they have a good team. Their offense is really good. So I'm a little worried here. Defensively, they got Riley and then Rat. Oh, wow, it kind of falls right off. Well, maybe not right off. Didn't we have Hag for a while? Did we trade him to the Leafs, maybe? I don't remember. But they got Riley and uh, Rasmus Anderson. And they got Cam Allen with Sandine. And then Hag with uh, York there. Okay. And in net, they've got Nadeljkovic at 86 overall. And then Tarasov at 83. So this is easily our hardest competition yet. And it's in the finals. I mean, LA was the best team. They won the President's Trophy and all. But... This team is the scariest looking on paper. So let's sim to the game. Here we go, guys. This is for all the marbles. Oh, I'm nervous. All right, simulate game. First period. All right, I'll take that. Riley and Kapari getting some depth goal scoring right off the bat. Second period. Nice. 3-2. Good, guys. Newhook and Boss put one in, and so did Matthews. Let's go to the third period now. We are out shooting them quite heavily at the moment. Power play for Houston. And they get a goal right after the penalty. Oh, never mind, though. It is not tied because Bouchard scores right after that one to give us the lead right back. Okay, beautiful. No way. Allen scores with four minutes left to tie it up. And will game one be headed to OT? Yes, it will. All right, let's hop right into overtime. Give them a power play. And are we able to kill it? Yes, we are. We actually killed it off, but they scored anyway. Austin Matthews going to get the OT winner. Toronto is up 1-0 here. There you go. Two goals for Matthews. Boss got 1-1. One and, one, and then Bogfist got 1-1 one one as well. Unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Very close first game there. Okay. Here we go. Game 2. Still in Houston. I guess our AHL team. Maybe they won a game there. I'm not sure. First period. Okay. That's fine. We're tied. Vrana and Bouchard. Where is, like, Barzal at, though? <laughs> Where is he? Has anyone seen him? Maybe you got a goal last game and I didn't notice, but they go on from Boakfist and Marner, second period. All right, we have the lead heading into third again. Um, heading into the third again. They got one from Rasmus Anderson, but we got Kavanov and Newhook. Okay, here goes nothing. A lead heading in. Nice, boss is going to get one really early on to give us the insurance marker. That is clutch. 5-3 now. We only have 18 shots. Will Nye, the hockey man's, is going to score back-to-back -back goals to tie it up, though. But Zadina will score to put Houston right back in the lead. Oh, my goodness, dude. This is just ridiculous. Vetrano scores, makes it 
six all. And then Marner scores, makes it seven six. We have a power play, not able to capitalize, and we are down to nothing. What on earth just happened? Well, there you go. There's your three stars. Man, we are, we're not looking good here. It is not looking good. Sim up to the next game. Oh, all right. Well, this game is, is pretty much do or die, in my opinion. If we lose this, we're done. So we have to win this one. First period. That's okay. Second period. All right. We're tied heading into what historically in this series has been the most ridiculous period of hockey ever. So here we go. Third period of action. Houston is out shooting Toronto at the moment. And it is a pretty deadlocked third period thus far, halfway through it. 2-2. Two, two. Five minutes to go. Wow, this is the third period that we are not used to. We got a power play, but we weren't able to capitalize. We should still have it heading... Yes, let's go! I thought they scored for a second, a shorthanded goal. I was about to be fuming. But Zadina scores a power play goal in OT. And that gives us a little... Nice, well, yeah, a little bit of breathing room there. As If we were down 3-0, it would have been devastating. But, uh, you know, we're 2-1 now, so that's good. There you go. I don't even remember seeing that guy in the lineup. Was he like a fourth liner or something? Anyway, uh, continue. All right. This is another very important game. If we go down 3-1, this is going to be absolutely brutal. Is the AHL team... Oh, they're done. Yeah, I think they got swept by the Wild there. Okay, time to simulate game four. Another... Huge one here. First period. That's okay. We got, Oh, nice. You got a goal. Let's go, Yuri. And then Kasha got one. Second. Oh, we're down by one. McLeod got one, but so did Brandon and Willie. All right. Period three. Down by one. But that's not the end of the game. That's for sure. Gave them a pretty long power play there. They weren't able to score, thankfully. Good job, PK unit. Now, we got a power play. And there we go. Raymond gets a power play goal. Makes it 3-3 in this third period. A lot of threes going on here. Is there going to be another overtime? Yes, there is. All right. Come on, Houston. We need a goal here, boys. We really need one. We can't go down 3-1. We cannot. No, 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 no. Yes, we killed it off. Good job. Power play for... Yes! Let's go! Kapari power play goal, baby. Makes it 4-3. And that will be your final. An overtime goal on the power play. Absolute clutch. There's your three stars of the game. It is now a best of three. It is a best of three. And we won both games at their barn. And they won both at ours. So it's been interesting so far. Here we go. This is going to be a massive game. Because whoever wins this is one away from that Stanley Cup. First period. Alright, it's 2-1 Toronto. Matthews got two. Newhook got one. Second period. Oh no. Boakfist got one. And it is 3-1 for the Toronto Maple Leafs. We have 27 shots and only one goal. So their goalie is playing phenomenal. Back-to-back -back power plays there. Each team getting a chance. Neither team capitalizing. Alright, there we go Bouchard. That was huge. Six minutes ago, it is now a one-goal game. We had a power play. We were not able to capitalize, and that will conclude that game. We are one away from losing this Stanley Cup Finals, which would be complete devastation. Oh, man, don't you dare do me like this. Sim to next game. Well, we should win, you know, if the pattern keeps up. We're in Toronto. Technically, we should win this one now. So here we go. First period. That's a good start. Bouchard and Barzell. And then uh, they got a shorthanded goal because, of course, from Mason Appleton. Second period. Nice. All right. 3-1 Houston heading into period number three. Let's see if we can hold it off here. Power play for Houston again. No goal, however. The Leafs have a lot of shots right now. So Teal is really performing out there. He wants this Stanley Cup. Five minutes to go. Still a two-goal lead. Things looking good. And it looks like we are going to be seeing, oh my word, three seconds to go. Cut the lead down to one, but it was too little, too late. Nice try, Vitrano. 3-2 victory for the Houston Hammerheads. We are headed to a Game 7 Stanley Cup Final. I'm nervous, I'm not going to lie. I am nervous. All right, Sim to next game. Yes, please. Whew, here goes nothing. Game 7, and if the pattern... <laughs> You know, stays the way it is. We shouldn't win this game, but 
Let's let's break out here. Let's break the pattern. First period. Oh no. No, 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 no. Second period. Oh no, 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 no. Come on, Houston. Don't you dare. You came this far. Let's go, guys. Get one early on here. No, we're giving them power plays too. It's done. It's done. We lost. We are done again. The Houston Hammerheads made it all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals, all the way to Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals, and they were not able to get it done. Lysel gets one, but it doesn't matter. Nylander with an empty net. Your Stanley Cup champions are the Toronto Maple Leafs. I'm actually just so devastated. I am so done. Man, like, what did we do? What did we do? And the Rangers fired their coach. See you later, Miles. Oh, there you go. Toronto Maple Leafs and our AHL team also lost in the finals just to have that extra kick in the tuchus. All right. Don't even think we have a... Do we have a first round pick this year? We might. Let's view the retired players. So, uh, Blake Wheeler, Kucherov, Shifley have a lot of good players retiring this year. Um, what about goalies? We've got Markstrom, Jones, Louis Deming, Stolarz. All right. So, yeah, a few good goalies there as well. Oh, dude, that is heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking. Okay, I'm not even doing drafts. I don't care. I do not care. I'm not going to do the draft. We'll do it in the next video. Um, guess I'll just view the draft class quick. Maybe pin some players and whatnot. So we got a gem here that's expected to go third overall. I don't know if that's really a gem. But I'll take your word for it. Okay, so let me pin this guy. He's expected to go like 45th. And he's a gem as well. Start by potential here. And see if there's any... Okay, this guy is recommended for us. It's a goalie. Sam Cassian. And he might be medium elite. It looks kind of promising. Not expected to go till 65. Um, this guy's a guaranteed medium elite. Not expected to go till 75. And is there any others like that? Not really. Let's keep it going down here. Uh, 25, I doubt you're a medium elite. Well, you might be, but let's just see if there's anyone else here. Okay, so that's the guy I pinned. And low elite. Guaranteed low elite at 255. So there we go. We're definitely getting a low elite player. And no. Okay, let me go back to uh, this category here and see if we can find out where... Our recommended picks are because I don't even know like what if we have a first round pick okay it looks like we do yeah uh Fucali really you want me to take these guys three years till NHL ready that's not bad but man like really I'd rather take this guy a medium top nine. Oh, that's cringe take a medium top nine in the first round that's cringe okay well yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm just going to pin some players here. Medium top six. Guaranteed. I might take Quint. Let's see. He is three years till ready. Okay. Two-way forward. Medium top six. That's not bad at all. I think he's going to be our first round pick. And then a medium top six defenseman. I'll pin him as well. Uh, medium top nines. Pin those. Just uh, look for like the guaranteeds here. This is like a risk, but you never know. Might work out. Okay, well. Yeah, there you have it, guys. That's uh, that's going to do it. Another disappointing playoffs for the Houston Hammerheads. And um, it's, it's, getting, it's getting tiring. It's getting tiring. But what can you do? There's always next year, right?